Hello everyone, this is George Castro, and this short video is going to show you how I use Banshee to listen to music and things like that in the morning. Um, I tend to use Banshee in a cue-based manner, and then I use smart playlists to figure out what songs I like the best. So, um, let's say in the morning I always start off, usually um, I start off with a uh, cue, so let's say I want to listen to Van Halen in the morning. I can either pick a specific track or whatever, so in this case, Let's say I wake up, I want to listen to these, and then I hit Q, which is the shortcut for cueing something, and then watch what happens up here. Blam. Shows my songs right here. So here I hit play, and the song starts to play. Now, um, the way I have mine set up is by score from music, which is where my music collection is. Now, you can set it by manually, so what score is is Normally, um, in typical uh, music players, you can set a rating, right? And then you can make smart lists based on these ratings. However, I have too much music to actually set my ratings, so I don't really have the time to, other than picking my few favorite songs, to do that. So what I do is I make Banshee do the work. I have this column called um, Score instead, which is basically based on how you listen to a song. So if you listen to a song and you totally hit it and you skip it, it gets a low score. If you listen to the whole thing, it gets a higher score. If you skip it in the middle, it gets a different score. So here, as you see, it, it's um, figuring out the scores. So what I do in the morning is, is I fill this up, and then it fills up the rest of the list based on my score, right? So it'll put a song with a high score in there. If the song has a low score, um, it might not show up as much, that kind of thing. So now, um, basically, all I need to do is cue up some music and start listening to it. And as it fills up, depending on whether I skip a song or listen to it, Banshee does all the hard work of figuring out what my music is. So why do I want to do that? Well, because I can make some really awesome smart playlists based on this. So here's my smart playlist called Favorites. I didn't go and manually pick what my favorite songs are. The music player should, because it's the one that knows everything about me. So I say match all by the score of at least 80. That means I've listened to at least 80% of the song or whatever the algorithm is. But I want to limit this list to 100 items. So um, that's where I get my favorites from. If you want to look at these, these are my 100 favorite songs, right? And if I were to listen to one of these and skip it, the score would go down. So this is a dynamic list of all what my favorite songs are now. And I can do also do more creative things here. Here's one I call neglected favorites. These are a play count of at least five. That means I've listened to them a lot. Um, and uh, I've last played them at least two months ago. So maybe it's been two months since I listened to this song. I actually don't do a rating here, but it just gives you an idea what you can do. Um, one thing I do here is because my Nexus One only holds uh, about 16 gigs worth of music, is I have a smart playlist that I limit to 12, and then I match it by score of at least 50. That means if, a, if it might not be a favorite song, but if I, at least I listen to it mostly, it'll likely get on this list here and I will limit it to 12 gigabytes. So then what I can do here is when I plug in my Nexus, I can actually tell it sync from my Nexus 1 list here. Um, this is probably a bug here with these question marks, but you get the right idea. So what I do throughout the day is, let's say I'm um, listening to some of these songs and I say, oh, I can do some Iron Maiden right about now. I can just type Maiden. And then let's say I want to listen to these songs. I just go down, I hit Q, I select the songs I want, I hit Q, and then I go back here. Notice it's putting them after the ones I've already queued up. And the ones down here are the ones that it's recommending. So it can keep recommending songs, which I like, but if I'm in the middle of a song and I was like, oh, I really want to hear a real favorite song that I have, it'll stick it after the one I'm li um, listening to. So that's how I roll throughout the day with my list. I hope this is useful for you, um, and I uh, hope you enjoy Banshee. Thanks.